Here are five tips to help you get the most out of your conversations with ChatGPT. After reporting on AI and testing tools for years, these are just a few strategies that I've come up with. The first one is to lean into images. So ChatGPT and other AI chatbots are not just about text anymore. You can upload photos and you can even have it create images for you, custom images of anything you want. So you could upload a picture of a table and say, can you create an image of this table with a beautiful table setting on it? The second tip is that you can tell ChatGPT how you want it to respond. So if it's giving you lengthy responses and doing too much, you can say, be concise, just give me a few sentences. You can tell it to act like your best friend and say, you know, act like you're my best friend and give me dating advice. Or you can say, act like a PhD researcher and give me your best research you have on a certain subject. So you can set the tone for how the conversation goes and the type of information you want to receive. The third one is a hard lesson that I've learned. So ChatGPT and other large language models can kind of be yes men or yes women. They can make you feel like you're asking the best questions, you're making the best points. And sometimes you have to nudge them and prod to dig a little bit deeper. So something that I've done is I've said, this is one point, but can you give me the alternate perspective? Can you argue a different point? Can you give me a pro cons list? Can you be honest? Can you tell me what the holes are in my argument? Just to make sure that you don't end up going down a rabbit hole where it's encouraging you, but you're not really getting the full story. The fourth tip is to give it information about you and then remember you don't have to repeat it. So if you reference your age or your friend's name in a conversation, you don't need to put so much effort into each prompt in each conversation to repeat those data points. ChatGPT has a memory and it will remember what you said last, so you can just keep the conversation flowing and not repeat those details. The fifth point, very important in journalism and in life, is to always fact check what it says. So hallucinations are still an issue with AI, and actually OpenAI's most recent, most advanced models have more hallucinations than some of the early models. So this is very much something you need to be on guard for. If you're gonna act on information it gives you, always check it, ask it to cite sources. And I do find that other tools like Perplexity, Gemini, or Bing are actually a little more forthcoming with their sources. So if you really need serious information, make sure you see it firsthand. Well, those are my five top tips. I'm sure you have yours and AI is always developing. So keep trying new things and you can read more about AI at PCMag.com.